Hello everyone and welcome to your channel, your path from BDS to DMD. So let's talk a little bit today about how to study for the integrated national board. Everyone's talking about it. It is a new exam. Um, we are still learning. We are finding more information about the exam from ADA as and when they are releasing the information. Um, I would suggest keep studying for the INBD just like you would study for your part one and part two. Um, please be very, very careful when you see claims from people on different websites, on Facebook groups where they are saying they have the information on INBD. I think your go to place should be the ADA website. Look at what they are saying because finally they are the ones who are going to administer the exams. I will be sharing more updates with you as and when I receive them, but um, please be careful uh, not to get trapped by all these false claims that some people may be making that they have the material for INPD. They do not. Um, so let's get started. What is it that um, I used when I was studying for my part one and part two? So dental decks. This is the most important piece that you should be studying. Um, dental decks, they are very comprehensive. They have an outline of what to study. Um, if you are planning to study and take the boards in a couple of months, then in that case, you may not be able to thoroughly go through dental decks. And in, the, in that case, I suggest you read the old released exams by um, ASDA. Um, I went through every single old released exam that ASDA has provided. Um, and I felt that helped me a lot when I attempted the exam. Um, between the dental text and the old release exams, it should cover you for preparing for the National Board Part 1, Part 2, and the INBD, so the integrated exam. There are some very good Facebook study groups, and um, this is something you know we used to do um, as friends before that we distributed whatever we wanted to study. We distributed the subjects amongst each other, uh, went through the decks, made notes, and then you know gave it to each other. Um, so that was a good study guide. What I'm lately seeing on some Facebook study groups is uh, students who are appearing for the exam. Um, they are talking to each other about uh, a question that is there on the old released exam. And then, you know, why is this the answer? Because you may be a general dentist who is an expert in general dentistry. There may be an oral surgeon who's also attempting the part one, part two exam. So that person is an oral surgery expert. There are endodontists, there are prosthodontists, periodontists, pediatric dentists, orthodontists. Um, you know, people who are experts in geriatric dentistry, people who are administrators. So I feel some of these study groups are extremely helpful. But again, please be careful about any false claims that people are making, which says we guarantee admissions and we will make sure that our students get in there. No schools in the entire United States has any kind of tie up with any of these people. And what I feel is um, you have worked very hard. It's absolutely okay to get help from people where you need assistance because there are some people who are subject matter experts, but, but please um, don't fall in this trap and uh, you know give away um, hundreds of dollars to them. Uh, ask your friends for help. Contact the professors directly from universities. One thing I can say, and I can say this with confidence is, most professors um, in the United States, you know, and when I say most professors, that almost more than 95% of the professors are extremely helpful. When you approach them saying you need help, they will give you help. You know, the doctors who have gone through the same path, like some of my colleagues now are practice owners. Some people who I knew 10 years ago have 10, 20 practices. And these are the people who've gone through the same path as you, and they are more than happy to help you. So look for a senior, find someone you knew from dental school, a professor who came um, to the US, um, you know, 
these are the people who you should go for for help and ask people who have just taken exams that you know what they studied and what they found was a good resource for them so in my opinion it's the dental decks and the old release exams that you should be good with there are other books like first aid and mosby's and denton but here's the thing these are books that are written by external publishers they are not affiliated by ada and these are not even books that are recommended by ada ada actually tells you that when you study for your boards study the textbooks study the notes that your professor gives you the presentations that have been taught in class so these are books which are written by external vendors i have nothing for them or against them for example um, if you see mosby's right mosby's is too detailed if you look at first aid it's not comprehensive at all if you look at this book denton it has um, very good photographs so that's their plus point so all these books have their pros and cons they um, do have their plus points and they also have their negative points so i feel when you're studying for your boards your best option is the old release exams and the decks and the study groups that you can find on facebook um, again if there is a different tool that um, you have found uh, please feel free to um, share it in the comment section so other people like you can benefit from your expertise uh, this this is where you can buy the released exams from asda um, they were very helpful to me you know because that kind of tells you the way the question is formatted what they are expecting and once you go through a few exams you start to see a pattern that these questions are not tricky they are the questions are not there to trick you the goal of the questions is to make sure that if there is a scenario or a situation that is presented to you you are able to handle it because we deal with human beings you know we are working very uh, closely with human beings like you and me so the goal of these exams is to make sure that your your basics are clear and that if a situation arises especially you know medical emergencies that uh, instantly you should be able to take care of it and you know study for the boards um, they are more application based and they are not there to trick you uh, you know that's one thing you should keep in mind um i would like to keep this presentation really short because as i said this is a part of that series of uh, you know your step 1 to 10 in getting in a dental school if you have any questions any concerns feel free to send me an email or please write in the comment section your questions and i will be more than happy to answer them um good luck studying Good luck applying for your dental school. I hope everyone in your family and your friends is safe, is healthy, is happy. Um, I will pray that all of you get in the dental school of your choice. Our next video is going to be how to relax when stressed. Now, this is a video which uh, I feel I wanted to share with all of you is because when we are preparing for the exams or when we are studying for the exam or when we are actually taking the exam you know you want your mind to be calm you you want to tell yourself you've done everything that you could to take this exam and the more relaxed you are the better even in dentistry right in clinical dentistry the more relaxed you are the better standard of care and service we can give to our patients that's exactly how it is when applying for a dental school or taking an exam or studying for an exam and I actually spoke to a lot of people who are subject matters in this uh, subject matter experts in this particular department, and they shared a few um, tricks and tips with me. And um, you know, when I asked them, "Can I share it on my YouTube channel?" they were very generous to say, "Of course, these you know, uh, please feel free to edit them and make them friendly for um, your subscribers." and i would love to bring that information to you so stay tuned stay healthy and good luck